the movies. We're going to see the movies. Yay, first day. We're so excited. Bringing the kids with me. We yeah. waited for about two years for this, so we're going to keep our masks on and enjoy Peter Rabbit today. There's probably no better sign that things are improving than families going to the movies again. It's been a hard year. Definitely been a hard year. A lot of uh, mental health issues for sure. Poor kids uh, are going through it tough, tough times with uh, this COVID. It's as if these days a movie isn't just a movie. It's a celebration that the pandemic might be coming to an end and that people made it through. It's good for the kids, right? We're so excited for them. It's the first to get out for a little bit, catch some fresh air, interact with people. Be excited! Marina and Nair are sisters, and more than a year ago, they made a date to watch a movie with their kids. Finally, their wait is over. Dude, the kids didn't even sleep, to be honest. See their faces, they're to priceless. I should be excited! Of course, the reopening of the country means different things for different people. For some small business owners, this may be their last chance to stay afloat. The lowest point for me, I would have to say, came around the end of May when my bank account was like in single digit. I was just in my room and I, I couldn't leave my room. and um, I, co I couldn't eat. I couldn't afford to eat. Andy Dinner owns this barbershop in Toronto. The pandemic shuttered his business for months. He had no idea if it would survive. How close did you come to closing down? I was like a week away from shutting down. I was about seven days away from shutting down in uh, late May. And then that's when we started up uh, a GoFundMe account to help us get some kind of relief. And then like within four hours, I surpassed my goal. Uh, it was pretty, pretty unbelievable actually. Like, the community saved me. Like, this is, this is our barbershop now. Yeah. It's nice to be back. Aren't so? We gotta go nice and short around the sides today. Way. What Andy learned from the pandemic was that he isn't alone. The other businesses in the neighborhood came through for him. How does it feel to have the scissors in your hand again? I'm used to seeing 15 plus people smile a day because of my work after showing them and then I went from that to nothing. So just being back here, just, just being within these walls, I, 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 I won't be taking anything for granted at all. So I'm happy to be here. Ready? Ooh, baby. That's clean. All right. The pandemic has been hard on all Canadians, but the group that's had it the worst are our seniors. Frida Hopkinson Manning is 80 years old. Her best friend Irma died of COVID. To Irma with love. Strong woman, friend of many. Mother so proud and loving. I think she's in a good place. I think my life would be less lonely if she were still here. Anyway, that's life. What's the thing that you really it's going to be hard to forget this past year. But now that things are opening up, Frida says she's finally looking forward again. The thing I can't wait to do, believe it or not, is to go to choir practice and to go to church on Sundays. I love to sing. I may not be a good singer, but I love the music. And that's what I'm really hoping for. <laughs> when you're singing, what's that like? Oh, that's joy. <laughs> it's a lot of joy. You know, I feel so well when I'm singing. Frida tells me that there's one other thing she hopes she'll soon be able to do. So I survived COVID. I have my two vaccines under my belt. And I have a promise to keep to my mother that I will go back to Jamaica to take care of her parents, my grandparents, with whom I grew up. I love them dearly. And I need to go back to replace a tombstone on their graves. And that is the big thing 
that I think about all the time. The hope is that our regained freedom will allow us to pursue our dreams again, continue the lives we'd planned. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you doing? And maybe soon, going to the movies will just be going to the movies. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto.